the students of the ninth standard now we are going to discuss about unit 13 chemical bonding already we have started again we are going to revise unit 13 chemical bonding in your science book uh, page number 148 you can refer the book and in this lesson we are going to learn about how molecules are formed and what is actet rule and we are going to learn about the least dot structure of atoms and understanding the different types of bonds and different characters of ionic bond, covalent bond and coordinate bond and types of uh, redox reaction and the oxidation number of different elements all this we are going to learn just to see what is an atom atom already we learn atom is a, a smallest a tiny particle tiny particle according to modern atomic theory atom is a divisible particle atom contain proton electron neutron out of these uh, proton and neutrons are inside the nucleus and the electron revolve around the nucleus. These are the three fundamental particles of an atom. Then, how molecules are formed? Molecules are formed when a group of atoms, same kind of atom, or different kinds of atoms combine together, combine together and form a molecule. So, a kind of force, a kind of force which attract which attract atoms held together and this we call this as chemical bonding so you take uh, page number 148 and uh, listen we already know that the atoms are the building blocks of matter so any object in the universe is made up of atoms and molecules under normal condition no atom exists as independent so always atoms are in the form of molecule except noble gases helium neon argon like that because they are having stable electronic configuration in the outermost shell however a group of atom is found to exist together as one species so the group of atom is called molecule so molecules are formed by the combination of atoms Obviously, there should be a force to keep the constituent atoms together as a thread holds the flaws together in a garland. This attractive force which holds the atom together is called bond. So, we know that uh, how these uh, garlands are prepared. The flaws are held together using the thread. thread. Similarly, atoms are going to be connected with one another using a force using an attractive force this force is called a bond this force is called a bond chemical bond then what is chemical bond there is a simple definition a chemical bond may be defined as the force of attraction between the atoms that binds them together as a unit so chemical bond is nothing but a kind of force this force only helps to connect the atoms together as a single unit as a single this is called a molecule and in this unit we will study about a causal least approach to chemical bond least dot structure and different types of reaction first one see causal least approach to chemical bond in this first topic acted rule Atoms of various elements combine together in different ways to form chemical compound. This phenomenon raises many questions. So different elements, not the same element, same element also combine to form a molecule. For example, hydrogen atom combined with another hydrogen atom to form hydrogen molecule. Oxygen combined with another oxygen atom to form oxygen molecule. Also, Various elements combine together to form a chemical bond. Then, let's see, why do atoms combine? 
how do atoms combine we do certain atoms combine while others do not this is the, the general question first one why do atoms combine so atoms combine to form molecule how do atoms combine atoms combine because of this uh, uh, electrostatic force of attraction between the atoms then why do certain atoms combine so atoms uh, Uh, which are having stable electronic configuration the outermost shell will not combine atoms which are having stable electronic configuration stable electronic configuration means atoms having eight electron in the outermost shell like rare gases argon neon like that they will not combine but all the other atoms which are having one electron two electron or three four electron in the outermost shell they are uh, donate or accept electrons and get stable electronic configuration by this way they are going to combine with another atom to form a molecule now see tens such questions different theories have been put forth from time to time one of such theories which explain the formation of molecule is causal lace theory Kozel and Lewis gave successful explanation based upon the concept of electronic configuration of noble gases about why atoms combine to form molecule. Atoms of noble gases have little or no tendency to combine with each other or with atoms of other element. This means that these atoms must be having stable electronic configuration. The electronic configuration of noble gases are given. in this part is given why the noble gases are not combining not having the tendency to combine it because they are having stable electronic configuration stable electronic configuration so atoms are having stable electronic configuration will not ready to combine with any other element then let's see what is the configuration of noble gases see in this set tablet column it is given helium atomic number 2 so only two electrons atomic number means that uh, uh, explain the number of proton or number of electron so two electron which is in the first shell the first shell is completely filled the neon 10 electron 2,8 argon 18 288 krypton 36 2888 xenon 54 28 18 18 and red on 86 28 18 32 18 so in all these except helium the outermost shells are completely filled by the eight electrons so the atom having eight electron outermost shell and it satisfy the rule of eight act at rule and these atoms are stable in their electronic configuration they will not uh, uh, ready to donate or share electrons and will not uh, going to form a chemical bond will not involve in the chemical bond so except to helium all other noble gases have eight electron the valence shell even helium has its valence shell completely filled and hence no more electrons can be added so in even helium the first shell is completely filled so it will not go into donate or accept electrons to form a new compound this by having stable valence shell electronic configuration the noble gas atoms neither have any tendency to gain nor to lose electrons and hence their valence is zero they are so inert that they even do not form diatomic molecule and they exist as monatomic gases sometimes question will be asked why uh, noble gases are in the monatomic uh, form because uh, they are having stable electronic configuration they are having stable electronic configuration and their valence is zero so they are inert and do not form diatomic molecule and then it will be always in the monatomic gases then 
Next you'll see the number of electron lost from a metal from its valencies of the metal and number of electron gained by non-metal is the valency of non-metal. So the metals, metal ion, metal atoms, uh, the aluminium, copper, iron. So these atoms are always ready to lose electron during the chemical bonding. So how many electrons are lost for the formation of chemical bond? That is their valency. And similarly, non-metal carbon, sulfur like that. Uh, these atoms ready to accept electron, ready to gain electron. So the number of electron gained for, for the formation of chemical bond is their valency. So already we learned in the previous class what is valency. Valency is nothing but it is the, the combining capacity of an atom of element. Combining capacity and it is completely based on the, uh, the number of electrons take part in the chemical bonding, how many electrons are transferred, how many electrons are accepted or uh, lost. That is the valency of the metal or non-metal. Then, based on the noble gas electronic configuration, Kozel and Lees proposed a theory in 1916 to explain a chemical combination between atoms and this theory is known as electronic theory of valency or attitude. So, the number of uh, uh, electrons, the number of electrons gained or lost for the formation of acted rule, for the formation of acted rule, which is going to help to form a chemical bond. So, this is explained by Kozel and Lees uh, based on the electronic theory of valence acted rule. So according to this, uh, atoms of all elements other than inert gases combine to form molecule because they have incomplete valence shell and tend to attain a stable electronic configuration similar to noble gases. Atoms can combine either by transfer of valence electron from one atom to another or by sharing of valence electron in order to achieve the stable outer shell of eight electron. So there are... Uh, uh, different types of uh, formation of uh, chemical one and uh, the first one is see how the atoms uh, transfer electron some atoms already we learn in this uh, more to know that uh, metal atoms are always donate electron metal atoms are always donate electron and uh, when they are going to lose electron they are going to be electrically positive in nature when electrons are lost, automatically the atom is going to be electrically positive, so electropositive character. Metals are electropositive in character. But non-metals are, they are ready to accept electron, gain electron. So when electrons are going to be accepted by a non-metal atom, it is naturally going to be electronegative in nature, electronegative character electronegativity electronegativity and see here so the loss of electron or gain of electron to achieve eight electron in the outermost shell that is called a acted rule or rule of eight so there is a simple definition the tendency of atom to have eight electron in the valence shell to have eight electron in the valence shell is known as acted rule the rule of 8, Atta, Atta means 8, acted rule, that is uh, having 8 electron and outer motion, having 8 electron. So how these 8 electrons are going to be obtained by gaining or losing electron, by gaining or losing electron, this type of uh, uh, transfer of electron takes place during the chemical bonding. Then, for example, Sodium with atomic number 11 will readily lose one electron to attain no neon stable electronic configuration. So atomic number of uh, sodium is 11. What is the meaning of that? Atomic number means that uh, sodium having 11 proton in the nucleus also having 11 electron around the nucleus. 11 electron around the nucleus. When we go and write electronic configuration for this sodium, 2, 8, 1 will come. K shell 2 electron and L shell 8 electron. 
than m shell one electron so the one electron the outermost shell that electron is going to be donated it is going to be lost when it the electron is going to be lost it going to have eight electron in the outermost shell the outermost shell the l shell going to have eight electron and similarly you take chlorine atomic number of chlorine is 17 and when you're going to write configuration 2 comma 8 comma 7 k uh, shell 2 electron l shell 8 and then m shell 7 so 7 electron outermost shell it uh, need only one electron to have 8 electron outermost shell so it's going to accept that one electron which is uh, lost by sodium so it's going to be 2 comma 8 comma 8 and get the nearest noble gas configuration of argon so sodium gaining the near stable configuration by losing one electron and chlorine going to attain that is uh, nearest noble gas argon configuration by gaining one electron so sodium which is uh, uh, metal lose electron and chlorine non metal gain electron and so chlorine readily gain on electron from other atom and obtain stable configuration thus elements tend to have stable valence shell either by losing or gaining electron so the loss of electron or gain of electron help the atom to have eight or to satisfy the role of eight a simple uh, uh, explanation is illustration is given here see sodium atom uh, 2 comma 8 comma 1 the first shell the first orbit 2 electron second orbit 8 electron third that is a k l m then here the outermost shell one electron is uh, lost loss of electron so after losing one electron the atom will not be furthermore called as an atom it is going to be an ion it is going to be an ion sodium cation positively charged ion because one electron is lost it is going to be naturally electropositive so sodium uh, cation then similarly you take uh, chlorine 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 configuration 2 comma 8 comma 7 2 electron in the first shell 8 electron in the uh, next shell then 7 electron in the outermost shell 2 comma 8 comma 7 so it's going to gain one electron it's going to gain one electron that electron which is uh, lost by the sodium atom and uh, by this way it also going to have eight electron in its outermost shell so here so one electron is excess one electron is excess compared to the number of proton so it's going to be naturally electrically negative in nature it is going to be uh, chloride anion chloride anion anion means this is uh, electronegative then which atom tend to lose electron which are tend to gain electron atoms that have one two or three electron in the valence shell tend to lose electron whereas atoms having five six seven valence electron tend to gain electron so atoms that have one comma two comma suppose uh, CRC sodium one electron and magnesium having two electron aluminum will have three electron so normally that uh, metal atoms are going to have this type of uh, uh, electrons one or two or three electron automotion they are ready to lose and the non metals they are going to have five six or seven electron they are ready to accept electron accept electron and uh, Let's see table 13.2 the unstable electronic configuration and I say take a boron atomic number 5 configuration 2 comma 3 and valence electron 3 nitrogen 7 2 comma 5 valence electron 5 valence electron means electron present in the outermost shell of an atom oxygen 8 2 comma 6 valence electron 6 sodium 11 configuration 2 comma 8 comma 1 valence electron 1 so here boron and sodium having one 
three electron boron having three electron sodium having one electron so these atoms are ready to uh, donate the electron but the nitrogen oxygen having five six they are ready to accept electron for the formation of uh, eight electron in the outermost shell to satisfy the rule of eight so by this way it going to uh, get a stable electronic configuration to satisfy the nearest noble gas configuration and to satisfy the rule of eight they are going to be stable in nature and ready to have a chemical bond ready to uh, give a new form of a compound so so my dear students you have to understand uh, what is chemical bond what is chemical bond chemical bond is nothing but which is uh, uh, the force of attraction between the atoms that binds them together that is a chemical bond and what is acted tool that is a tendency of atom to have eight electron the valence shell how these eight electrons are obtained by losing or gaining by losing the atoms having one two three electrons are uh, lose electron atoms having five six seven are a gaining electron or the metals are ready to donate non metals are ready to gain electron by this way stable electronic configuration is attained so you have to go through up to this you go through and the next c13.2 list dot structure you will see in the next class uh, you learn and uh, get the knowledge of uh, chemical bonding what is acted rule and uh, what is called atom what is called molecule and uh, rare gases why rare gases are uh, inert why they are not ready to uh, get into the chemical bonding so all this you have to learn and you will see the the remaining next in the next class thank you god bless you